I just landed in New York like two hours ago. This will be the second time that I've come back since I moved, but I moved six months ago. So I feel like that's kind of a lot. I do miss it, but I don't want to be living here. I have so much more fun now visiting and knowing the city than living here and being constantly anxious and overwhelmed and spending aggressive amounts of money every time I walk out the door and just breathe air. I'm staying at the Roxy. I've only ever been here once before and it wasn't to stay in the hotel. I went to the Django Jazz Club. It's downstairs, which honestly, it was amazing. So while I'm here, I'm like, maybe I should try and get tickets to that again. But it's Wednesday, February 7th, three o'clock. I didn't get any sleep last night because my flight was at six in the morning this morning and I had to for the airport at 2 and I didn't start packing until right before I had to leave so I also I'm gonna be looking quite disheveled on this trip who cares maybe I'll go shopping I don't know I'm also gonna have a visitor at some point pen pal my fake boyfriend whatever you want to call him but he's not coming until tomorrow night so I have the rest of today tonight and tomorrow to be by my lonesome also they give you Prosecco when you check in at the hotel here <sighs> I'm a little ooh. <laughs> I'm a little traumatized from drinking from after my birthday. It's just a little too soon, but I couldn't pass it up. I threw up 10 times the night going into my birthday. 10 times? And then I couldn't even really get that drunk on my actual birthday because I was nauseous. Every time I took a sip of alcohol, I was like, I don't even know what to do with myself right now. I love staying in hotels. I feel so adult and I love being by myself, which is also why I'm confused why I'm having somebody come disturb my peace while I'm here, willingly. I did tell him if he's bothering me, I'm gonna make him go home, so. At least we got that out in the air. Cause I will. Go on, go on, get. I've been rewatching Gossip Girl for the first time in a while. It's so funny to me that when the Vanderwoodsons are living in a hotel and not their house because they're getting construction done or something, that they're all like, oh, gotta get out of this hotel, which also is ginormous. If I could strictly live out of a hotel, that was me. I would love to live in a hotel. Sue me. But I guess the novelty would wear off after a while, huh? Well, I'm probably never gonna be living in a hotel, so it's fine. I don't have to think about that. I feel like I should try to make plans tonight. I already kind of said no to one that I was doing, but I just really don't feel like entertaining anyone because I also ordered my favorite pasta from Little Frankie's, which a lot of people don't like. Look at these. I feel like I should just spend tonight minding my business, having a little drink, eating my pasta, watching a rom-com, because I can't do those things when a man's around. Actually, I can, I could, I might. It's just not as enjoyable. Oh my God, she's so cute. And ah! They didn't give me a fork, so apparently they want me to eat these noodles with my bare hands. This is definitely something I would never order for delivery again. Ow, soggy. I get so scared staying in hotels. People get kidnapped all the time. Should I just keep watching Gossip Girl? I feel like that's what I should do. I know I said this is my favorite pasta, but my standards for food are not that high. Buttered noodles, this that I make at home, and it tastes exactly the same, is one of my favorite things to eat. Realistically, I shouldn't ever spend $22 on this. In no world, is this worth $22 unless I don't have a kitchen to make it right now, which I don't. This is making me sick a little bit. <laughs> I swear when I'm in New York, all I eat are carbs. It's just a lot of gluten for a little girl. I guess I'm not watching Gossip Girl. Drake and Josh it is. Found a way, found a way. Masterpiece. I took a bunch of NyQuil last night at like 6 p.m. and I woke up and it's pitch black and I looked at my phone, it said it was 9 and I was like, oh my god, why is it still so dark out? It's 9 in the morning. And I texted two people being like, why is it still dark out? It's 9 in the morning. It was 9 p.m. I was so foggy. And then I proceeded to sleep for 12 more hours after that. In the door to my hotel, I don't know what's wrong with it, but anytime anyone in the hallway opens their door, my door slams. And all night I thought I was being kidnapped. I should probably call someone and say something about that. I was supposed to go to my friend Lucy's this morning, but I slept for too long. She's got an event to go to at 12. And by the time I get myself presentable and go to Brooklyn, she's gonna be leaving. So I don't think I'm doing that. I brought my less aggressive mascara that I wear when I have fake eyelashes on, but I don't have any fake eyelashes with me. So now it just looks like I'm not wearing mascara. So at some point today, I need to go get some lashes. All right, perfume. This video is sponsored by Scentbird. I love Scentbird. I've talked about them before. I have a crazy perfume collection. I always end up buying the full bottles and then liking them for a second and then not using them that much. So these babies, these little scent Scentbird babies are perfect. I've been wearing the same two perfumes religiously for the past like six months probably and I'm getting sick of them. So I got four more from Scentbird to try and I brought them with me because they're tiny like this and I can travel with them. 
This one is Salt Air from Skylar Clean Beauty. Not something that I would wear right now because it's freezing in New York and this is definitely a summer scent, but on the beach, she would be perfect. Yeah, this is so beach. Driftwood, sea salt, and seaweed. Summer in a bottle, baby. But this is the one that I actually want to wear today. It's Commodity Milk. Mmm, that to me is also like summer, winter, spring, anytime kind of fragrance, which is usually what I look for. I was wondering why it was so dark in here. I was like, I could have sworn the lighting in here was so good last night. Wow. Let me continue. So you can understand what I'm smelling right now. The notes on this are skin musk, cashmere woods, amber, and white cedar. Mmm, anything white cedar, I'm like, I'm obsessed with. So good. It just smells like someone you love. I love being the best smelling person in the room. Want to walk by people and then grab me and be like, what are you wearing? That's my vibe, but I've wasted so much money on full-size bottles of things that I just will never wear again. That's why Scentbird's the girl. And if you haven't heard me talk about Scentbird before, it's a monthly subscription. Perfume, cologne, it's a lot of unisex stuff, which is nice. And it's only $17 a month and you get to experiment and find which fragrance you like the best before buying the big thing. And if you click the link in the description or scan the QR code, it'll take you to Scentbird's website. And then you can use my code Jaden55 for 55% off your first month, which means it's only $8. And you can find your new scent, because we all want to smell good, don't we? Don't we? <coughs> I smell good. I don't feel good. <laughs> when you finish getting dressed, and then I need to eat something or I'm gonna fall to the floor. I'm walking around my old neighborhood. It's so funny, because when I'm here, I feel like I still live here. Like I'm expecting to walk back to my apartment after this. I guess because I don't live there anymore, I can tell you now. I used to live on Bedford and Fifth. There's a ton of stuff around it. Very busy, very beautiful, popular area. I'm walking to Finney right now to get the pizza that I love and adore so much that I think about every single day of my life and I'm not even exaggerating when I say that. I'm going to Urban Outfitters. I was going to go to Uniqlo or something, but I don't really want to walk around so well right now. Urban Outfitters it is. Red. I'm an advocate for getting things in two different colors. I used to walk over here and sit on this exact bench if I was having a panic attack at my apartment and stare out onto Manhattan and try and convince myself that I was real. <laughs> Let me show you what I got. This purse that I'm really stoked about, I've been looking for a dark slouchy bag because I only have one black purse and it's not slouchy. I also got this beanie. I'm obsessed with it. I think this is my favorite thing I got. And then I also got this one. I need to stop buying beanies because especially these flat ones, I can make. This? Probably not. I could make this though. Ew! I was smiling at my phone. That's so bad. Oh my god. Sedate me. I feel like I should keep this on. It doesn't really go with my outfit, but... I showed you my two striped sweaters. I got those. I wasn't gonna get the red one because this lighter knitting is like sage green. I thought it was white, but I still got it. And then I got a bunch of underwear. I literally did not bring one pair. I was gonna go back to the hotel and try and get some work done, but I have my phone with me, so I think I should just do it while I'm sitting here so I can be outside. Are you timing us? Yeah. Good for them. That's nice. I decided to take the ferry instead of the subway, even though I'm still gonna have to walk for like 30 minutes once I get off. It's such a nice day out. said work that I claimed I was gonna do while sitting at the bench, I didn't do. I didn't do it, but I'm back here now. I did a little bit while I've been sitting here, but I haven't eaten since I had that pizza, so I wanna go downstairs to the restaurant and eat something there. Maybe have a little drink, which I shouldn't do because I'm not feeling that great, but I want one, so I don't know. Plus, I have to prepare for fake boyfriend's arrival tonight. <laughs> no, 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 we never do that. <laughs> we get stressed, we've got to, we notice that Ari doesn't let Josh get on the phone, like that, you know, I let Josh get on, but I'm just like... Um... The only issue that I'm having, physically at least, is I'm so congested. It's giving sinus infection. It's 641. I want this makeup off because I want to put new, better makeup on now that I have my lashes and I just want to look good. 
God forbid. But first, I think I'm gonna take a bath. Say what you want about hotel bathtubs. If that's what's gonna take me out, that's what's gonna take me out. I gaslit the housekeeping guy. He was like, you should have one in there. And I was like, I don't. You took it. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. I'm a bitch. I'm fresh, I'm clean. I have Gossip Girl up on my phone. And I'm gonna redo my makeup. I just shaved off the ends of my eyebrows again. Didn't go too crazy this time, but I still need to get the tattoo removal done. ASAP, because it's not cute. I could lose everything. You hate me. No, I don't hate you. I'm just saying he's not going to break up with Poppy. He's having her cake and eating yours, too. I have a certain appeal to it, so you, you get no judgment from me. We're coming to see Georgina Sparks. I think I might be pregnant. I got all dressed up to go and sit at the bar by myself and be mysterious, channeling the gossip girl I've been watching. Pen Pal will be here soon, so I want to get drunk. Sue me. I forgot to film anything when I was at the bar because I was alone and I was embarrassed and insecure. But my pen pal is here, my fake boyfriend, he's here. He's not a murderer, he's not a psycho killer, as I know now. We're going to go to a jazz bar. I made reservations for 10.15, it's 10.17, and we're a little bit late, but I had to pee, and we're gonna go there now. At least I look good, though. And all my jewelry is from Petite Moments. <laughs> since I got here. I don't even know what time it is. I think it's like, what time is it? It's 9.45. I wanted to wake up at eight, but that just didn't happen. I want to go to this brunch place that's in Brooklyn. I'm obsessed with. It's Madison and I's favorite place ever. They're very, very busy. The wait time is aggressive. I think somebody put it on TikTok and then it just went from there. I was trying to go early so we didn't have to wait and the pen pal is ready because he's a boy and it takes them two seconds. You wanna know what is serial killer-ish? Honestly, 100%. How many photos in your phone? 84? He has 94 photos in his phone. He says when he like takes a picture, he and he posts it somewhere, he just deletes it because it, it's already out there. That's fucking insane. You're chapped. I'm always chapped. Literally always chapped. Don't feel chapped. Hello, I'm the pen pal. <laughs> I love my pen pal. This is what I'm wearing. I bought this yesterday. He wanted me to wear the red one because he thought that it would match my beanie, but that's just not true. This is orange. I'm also colorblind. You're blind? I can, I can put like a voice filter over you. You kind of do have a distinct voice. I know. That's why I'm like, I gotta mix it up so people don't know. They always say the same thing. The way I say my R's. My you have an accent. I have like a dialect. Anyways, I didn't mean to cut you off. My creative queen, go ahead. <laughs> Basically what I was saying, this doesn't match. This, I would look like a fool. Look at this. You'd look like a ladybug wearing a burlap sack. <laughs> burlap sack? What is with you burlap sacks? I don't know. It's just the color. You look like a burlap sack. You were... Ew! <laughs> I also only brought one pair of shoes and they're my boots that, you know, I wear all the time. The beanie, it does keep me warm. I always thought you're that they were like cold. a... You're gonna be cold. I have a jacket, I'm gonna bring it. Then you'll be fine. I know, but I was gonna say that I usually wear beanies for like the aesthetics of it. And like, I don't realize that they actually keep me warm. Yours look green right now. I told you they change. Yeah, they do. I love those corn nuts, dude. I got these at the airport. I've learned that I love corn nuts because Ivy and I go to El Prado and they give you corn nuts in a bowl. But these are even better because they're spicy. I keep Tabasco in my bag. You saw that. I did. That was your tip. Ew, we're leaving. Hello, all. I have a cameraman now. This is so exciting. Do I look stupid? No. Tell me I look pretty. Oh, you look really, you look really pretty. <laughs> we're going to a brunch place and it's it takes forever to sit down, and I'm starving right now. I'm getting angry. I feel like you can tell I'm being a little bit mean. A little bit mean? So I got a bagel, basically, because it's going to take us 30 minutes to get there, and then when we get there, they're probably going to tell us that we can't sit down until Labor Day. So I'm going to eat this. This is my favorite breakfast spot in the entire world. It doesn't even look like much, but I swear. Look where I am. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> I had to make this up. Showed up. She showed I saw her from behind on the street, and I like ran up behind and I like yelled her name. They got me a little, a little box. I'm gonna move back and get my job back. You guys would love that. It's 5:17. We came back here, took a nap, ate this. So good. I've never given this to anyone, and then not loved it. I also made him watch Escape Room. If you've never seen it, Taylor Russell, incredible. Last night we got espresso martinis and there were no beans. Well, yeah, I'm a proud, I'm a proud. Proud what? Boyfriend, watching you do this. Yeah, my boyfriend. 
I had six oysters yesterday, as you may have saw, but I just got two shrimp cocktails. Why? I feel like you're putting me up. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> and then I got three oysters. He got a Caesar salad because he's skinny. That's all. I'm so excited to see the musical. <laughs> Look at her. They're huge. Yesterday when I was eating my oysters, I wished that I had hot sauce and then he pointed out, I keep this in my purse. I'm a big shrimp cocktail kind of gal and I don't have it enough. Wow. Careful, the lid's not on all the way. I don't know if I can watch you do that. Watch me. Why? You scared? Thinking about it like going down your throat. Oh! You ready? Let's see it. <laughs> mm. I hated that noise. That was so nasty. <laughs> hot. Spicy or like... Do you think the oysters are hot? Temperature wise? I'm sorry that I embarrassed you. <laughs> I, won't, I won't speak out of turn ever again. We're in intermission. This play is so fucking good. You wanna hold it? Mm -hmm. I'm having a wonderful time. We are in the splash zone. Second row, Jonathan Groff has been spitting on us for the last hour and a half. Being so close to Danny Radcliffe is like giving me heart palpitations. Like he's literally standing up like this. It's going. <laughs> I'll tell you more after. We're sitting now, but I want to show you how close we are. We are out. Oh my god. I haven't seen in person a lot of plays, but I have watched a lot of plays, and that is the best thing I've ever seen in my entire life. We were debating between Hamilton and... Barely we roll along. Barely we roll along. A lot of people said, you gotta see this one because that cast isn't gonna happen again. And oh my God, I'm so glad. Obviously the experience was so much better because we were sitting right there. We were getting spit on, you know? Oh my God, it was so good. It was so funny. Now I'm gonna fixate on this for the next God knows how long. This is gonna be playing my car on repeat. I'm gonna get a CD. I had so much fun. I like that you look at me when you say that. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Good morning. Saturday, the 10th. I think it's like 12. Slept in. My last day here. It's my flight's at like 7 a.m. or something. Wow. We didn't really make any plans because I don't really want to have any obligations to do anything. The only thing that's on my list today is to get pizza from Finney again because obviously I have to do that. I can't stop eating this. It's so good. Mmm. What? I'm just looking at you. Don't look at me. But we ordered food. Pen pal over here. It's gonna go pick it up. You know, the world is our oyster today. We really could do anything we want. <laughs> We're at the movies. We're going to see anyone but you. Because I haven't seen it yet. Pen pal has seen it, but he's willing to see it again. But I'm really excited. I've been wanting to see it for a while, but Madison's gonna be mad that I didn't see it with her. But you know what? Sometimes you have to make sacrifices. Also, him and I didn't know what to do. I'm such a new. I haven't seen a good new rom com in in so long and that I gave it five stars out of five on Letterboxd so honestly though I'm horrible at reviewing movies like I gave Five Nights at Freddy's four stars out of five so that's not I'm not really one to what? I heard that was a good movie subjective I loved it hmm. I also love Josh Hutcherson so it was all better um, but now we're going <laughs> now we're going to Finney again because I want him to try the pizza and I want to get some wine. I really realistically shouldn't get that drunk before my flight because I'm going to feel like shit, but it's my last night, so I have to. She's counting down the hours until I leave. Yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> She's literally counting down the hours. I was like 11 until more hours and again. then I never have to see him again. Do you like tomatoes like this? Pico de Gallo? I got a quesadilla from Chipotle. <gasps> this is exactly what I wanted. Don't look at me like that. What am I looking at you like? Like you want to kiss me on the lips. Oh. Will you eat this? I don't want to eat that. I just want you to be happy, God forbid. I am happy, I'm in your presence. That's how you sweet talk your woman. Ew. <laughs> I have another movie that I want us to bedazzle. It's one of my favorite movies. Brendan Fraser, one of my favorite actors. You haven't seen this, right? No. Oh, incredible. But just for the audience, I've been told that I look like a young Brendan Fraser. See, but what if that's true, and then they find you through that? Give the people what they want. You want to be exposed? Are you embarrassed to be with me? Flip the camera over here. Show the world. Let's reveal our love for another seven hours. We are in love, aren't we? I think so. I'm going to watch this movie. I'm going to have taken my last seven hours with my pen pal over here. 
It's almost six o'clock. I made it to the airport with 20 minutes to spare before we start boarding. I'm so exhausted and I don't have a window seat or a neck pillow, so I'm gonna be sleeping horribly. Also, my gate was at the furthest end of JFK. I don't really have anything exciting for you. Love you so much. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.